Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. This week, we're going to do something special. I've been really into brass engines lately, and there are some great models out there by a company called Weaver, who you may or may not have heard. And they specialized in making high-quality trains and were a competitor to Lionel and MTH and some of the other manufacturers. They've since gone out of business, but their legacy remains with these awesome models. And tonight, we're going to break down two that I really love. One is the Southern Tennessean, and the other is the Milwaukee Road Hiawatha. These streamlined steam engines are a wonderful addition to any layout. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. One of the great things about Weaver is that you can find these engines at a great price. A big shout out to trains.com, that's trains with a Z, and use the promo code RBPTRAINS for $10 off your next order. One of the hard and difficult things about collecting Weaver is that they are very rare, so it's harder to find some of these pieces. The Hiawatha that you're going to see tonight is a bit more common, but the Southern Tennessean is a bit more rare. And I'm lucky tonight to be joined by my friend RJ from RJ's Trains. One of my favorite things in the hobby is sharing it with other people. I'm really excited to have RJ on the channel tonight because he was a big part in me starting my own channel. I've met so many creators in the community and RJ gave me a shot early on and helped to promote my channel on his. So this is me returning the favor, but we're also getting the chance to see a great engine and spend some time running trains with friends. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is having fun. So I'm joined here tonight with my friend RJ. RJ, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me on. So, fun story about RJ. I've been watching RJ's trains for years. This is his YouTube channel. You started this when? December 2019 is when I consider my start date on YouTube. December 2019. Okay, so been around for a while. And one of the things I've always enjoyed about RJ is that, you know, he's brought a lot of different ideas and perspectives into the hobby. So RJ is never afraid to share his opinion, are you? <laughs> never. When I was starting my channel, I was in the parking lot at one of my daughter's dance classes, and I was looking at YouTube and trying to figure out how to grow my channel. And I saw RJ posting a challenge. It said, submit your video to be on my RJ Trains 2K celebration. So I actually made a video. It's like this techno poppy video. It's kind of weird. Yeah. And submitted it, mm -hmm. and I heard that you actually weren't going to include it. <laughs> so it was it was much like your current intros, where you're bouncing around the shots, loud music, and everybody else submitted like two minute videos of just trains running past on their layout. And there I am, you know, I get this video, loud music. You know, at the time, you probably only had a couple hundred subscribers. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't the RBP trains that we know today. And um, it was so different that I thought I was going to leave it out of the video. And at the last second, I added it back in because I'd feel bad about someone submitting a video and it not getting through. And now look where we're at now. Well, as a thank you, I had to have RJ on the show. And I had no idea that he was going to cut me until we became <laughs> friends. So let's talk about the trains we're going to run tonight. Weaver is something I really didn't think about until RJ introduced me to this Southern Tennessean. He actually did a video on his channel, which is right here. I'll link the description. Thank you. And when I saw it, I was lucky enough that, you know, he went back to his apartment and he actually left the train here. I got to run it on my layout and I started becoming obsessed with Weaver. And I'm like, this stuff is great. And then I looked it up and I found a couple pieces. When it comes to, to brass engines, a lot of times we consider them to be expensive. Price can be out of the question for most of us, right? Many of us. But these Weaver models, I mean, some of these I'm seeing for $400. I picked up a Crown Edition Williams that we're going to run in a later video. I got that one for $420. Bucks. It's a beautiful streamlined engines. And these aren't like your common engines. They would only make a few hundred of them and they would only make one production run of them and very few of them survive today. And I think that's what makes them so unique. And it's just amazing to have an, an engine that is not only rare, mm -hmm. but affordable. So this is the Southern Tennessee. But what about this engine specifically made you want it? Is it, is it the railroad itself? Is it, I, what is it? What is it about it? I am a fan of the Southern Railway. My uh, girlfriend, Nicole, she is from Chattanooga, Tennessee. 
and her backyard is Old Southern Main Line, now Norfolk Southern. The Tennessean left from New York Penn Station, which is my home station, uh, where it was carried by Penn CGG1, and then it stopped in Washington, D.C., which is now my new home city, where it was picked up by the Tennessean and eventually made its way down to Chattanooga. And, uh, you know, it's pretty interesting that train went through, you know, my home city, my current home city, and my girlfriend's home city. So that's why the Tennessean is uh, special to me. And that's why I made sure I picked this up when the opportunity came to purchase it. It's something when you find a piece that is that rare, that is also part of your life, right? I think that story is yeah. something else. And I really wish I had a GG1 that we could have simulated. I, I didn't know that until now. You don't have now. a GG1. Well, yeah, I, the post-war, okay. but I'm not going to be able to pull that one with it. <laughs> so, no, fantastic, RJ. I, I'm still trying to figure out how to get this engine from him. So, you know... Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe donate some money. Maybe. maybe maybe just maybe if I gain enough subscribers from this video, I can leave it on extended <laughs> loan. <laughs> there you go. Subscribe to the vid. Subscribe to the channel or subscribe to RJ's channel, and then uh, we'll we'll set a threshold, and then RVP gets to keep the Southern. Yeah, that's sounds what like I'm a, talking. Sounds about. Sounds like a good deal to me. So again, that was a little bit about the Southern Tennessean, which is a phenomenal piece. Out of the two we're running tonight, the Southern Tennessean is the more rare of the two. I picked this beautiful Hiawatha. Why? I've never been to Milwaukee, so I have no connection to this railroad at all. But I thought it looked really cool, and it is a Hudson. So, RBP loves Hudsons. I, I continue to collect as many Hudsons as I can, and this piece is just amazing. I may actually look at getting this one upgraded like RJ did. I think it's important to note that when you see RJ's tonight, it has an MTH Proto 3. Yes, MTH Proto 3. It has a Proto 3 sound set in it, so it's been upgraded to the latest technology. I would love to do that to this because you can take these engines, again, you can buy them at a fairly decent price, and then you can have them upgraded. And then they run like your latest models and they look fantastic. So again, RJ, I can't thank you enough for being here tonight and for sharing your trains on my layout because when there's trains that I don't have, I have to go find people that have them. And luckily, I found RJ. Well, thank you for having me on and it's always great sharing trains with friends. Um, that's what we do here on YouTube, so glad we can do it in person. One of these days I'm going to go to your layout and we're going to take something there. Yeah. And run it. I don't have anything Long Island. He's obsessed with Long Island. Mm -hmm. It's a great railroad. I just, I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get right before I go to his layout. Yes. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Let's get the trains running. Enjoy.
Running trains with friends is one of my favorite things to do. And we're gonna do more episodes like this in the future because there's a lot of trains out there that I don't have. As always, a huge thank you to all of my subscribers and to everyone who's been supporting this channel. My name is Chris and this is RVP Trains. We'll see you next time.